Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ainora. If you're new to my channel, if you're my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. I have recently done my green bag collection and when I was doing green bag collection, I was thinking at the same time, what is my next favorite color? And as you guys know, I've always been telling that I like green, blue, so the next one is blue. and. I was surprised that I had nine green handbags in my collection um, because I didn't really think that I had that much, um, that many bags in that color. And then I was like, well, let's see how many bags I have in the blue color. And I have eight. And <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit um, surprising because once when you're buying bags you don't really count you don't really go like this like i have eight bags i have nine bags of of blue and eight of like something you know what i mean like you don't really count how many um colors in specific colors you have how many bags so for me it was surprising to do these kind of videos when i when i go and count uh, by colors so it was surprising and it was actually good to know so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go and show you my eight blue bags in my collection blue is one of my favorite colors uh, it's just for me I feel like blue is a great a neutral color for me uh, specifically I'm not into like beige and brownish colors I I am slowly becoming but I feel like for me blue is like one of the neutral bag neutral sorry not bags neutral colors in my wardrobe I really like love different kind of denims like like white washed like white blue washed like lighter washed and then and up until dark denim so I really love denim items I really love everything that is like from baby blue to very dark blue so you will see uh, these kind of colors in my blue bag collection I'm going to um, show you in order of the smallest to the biggest bags I think I've done that uh, with my green bag uh, collection as well so uh, the first bag uh, the smallest bag in my collection is from Christian Dior. Um, I think it's called Wallet on a Chain. Um, I'm not sure if it has a specific name for this bag. Uh, it is not fully blue, but it has these oblique. That's why I consider this a blue bag. Um, I have done uh, a, a thorough review. I can wear this bag five different ways and I I really like it. I always loved oblique, but I didn't want a huge bag in the oblique uh, design. I wanted something small that I can use um, once in a while whenever I need a little bit of monogram, like a logo in my collection. Um, so I was missing uh, for oblique design and this was like a really cute classic piece from Dior that is um, fulfilled, that fulfilled my like oblique itch, you know. So I really love this. It's such a cute um, wallet on a chain. I can use this as a belt bag. Uh, it has a back pocket and I can use this as a clutch, as a um, long and short um, uh, shoulder bag and crossbody bag. It has like this uh, long chain strap and it has this um, cross, not crossbody. I can use it crossbody, but I can also use this as a belt bag. It has this leather um, strap as well. And I really love this cute little Dior uh, bag. Um, I don't have many wallet on chains, but whenever I feel like I need an oblique design to my um, outfit, it actually works really good. And yeah, I don't regret getting this bag and it's just a um, cute little piece from Dior. 
The next bag I is not actually, I think, I think it's not a bag, but it's like a cosmetic a bag, not sorry, cosmetic or clutch or something like that. Basically, you can just um, use this bag by this big uh, metal D handle. You can use it like that and you can actually um, hang it um, into like to the big bag, like to the handle of the big bag. I've seen people uh, wearing this uh, by itself or or hanging it on their Dior tote bag, uh, book tote I think. I specifically bought this because I really like this little like a oblique um, camera design bag and also it has two loops from the uh, both sides and I already have a guitar strap from Dior that I all that I bought for my um, saddle bag so I can use uh, this the exact same Dior strap to this with this and and wear it as a camera bag um, like a shoulder camera bag I um, in the beginning I was like did I make a right decision by buying this but you know what I don't regret it I really like using it just like this I specifically bought this to use it with my guitar strap but I have been recently using it like this it was one of my t one of my most used bags in my last uh, video I think uh, because I, li I like just grabbing this by this little like a D handle and hanging it on the stroller of my um, twins so it's just grab it's like a very easy grab and go just like a wallet a keys and chapsticks yeah it's like for that kind of purpose it's a really great bag and of course it's in my favorite oblique which is another big big pro let's continue with Dior bags I have this beautiful saddle bag in this beautiful periwinkle color it's like a great uh, blue color with a little bit of a hint of uh, purple and I love this beautiful blue color it's just such a such a like a, a little bit like a toned down um, blue color I love this and it's not in this um, grained leather it's in the goat skin and the goat skin is more softer it's more like just nicer to touch and um, easier to use I feel I feel like it's in my opinion because when you're using it um, over the shoulder it's a it's a much softer it's much more malleable than the grained leather the grained calf leather is more durable I believe but it is uh, a little bit too hard um, leather and I never liked a saddlebag in that leather I really like saddlebag in the oblique uh, or in this beautiful goat skin um, I do suggest to go with the goat skin because it's just so much nicer um, yeah I love this bag so much uh, this beautiful color was uh, a limited collection it was like it was like a I think it was like one of the couple years ago it was like a, one of the limited seasonal um, colors and I had to grab it because it's in, in this such a beautiful um, periwinkle color and um, saddlebag is not a very practical bag um, I bought it because of this beautiful color and because of this unique um, shape uh, most people don't really like this bag, but I love it. It's I think it's a piece of art um, It's it's just I love the shape. Yeah, I, so I Love this so so much If you guys are looking into the saddlebag, I suggest getting the medium size because the smaller sizes do not fit anything not even a I'm not even a wallet I believe so I think this uh, size is great
The next blue bag in my collection is Bottega Veneta Paddock Cassette in this beautiful linoleum color. It's called linoleum and it, this reminds me like a Tiffany blue color. Um, I initially fell in love with this bag because of the color. I feel like the color was like calling my name. I just really like this puffy um, like cassette, uh, this puffy like interchiato um, design. I just um, love this pillowy look and this color just made me made me fall in love even more. So it is a great bag um, to for every day. I use this as a pop of color during summer. It's just this color is beautifully, beautifully, it suits beautifully during summer with my outfits, with my white outfits, with all kinds of outfits. So I love this color so much. In terms of um, how much I use this bag, I don't use that much. This bag is I mean, it's it's very easy to use. I like it. I have an organizer inside. It doesn't fit as much as I want uh, this bag to fit because this bag looks a little bit bigger than than you think, right? But you cannot fit that much. Um, so, do I regret getting it? No, I don't regret it because I feel like it's one of those bags that I. I love because I love it, not because it's trendy, not because everyone has it. I love it because it is very understated and it's just a beautiful bag to look at, to use. It's so soft. I love the leather. It's a um, great pillowy bag. I love all kinds of pillowy bags and you will see in my collection that I love a lot of squishy and non-structured bags so that's why I really love this so much the puffiness do not like inflate like it's it looks as it is um, three years three years later it looks same puffy look as it was um, on the day one the fifth bag in my collection is my beautiful Chanel Jumbo in this denim. Um, in this denim, I love this bag so much. I had to get this bag right away when I saw this. I think Mel from Mel Soldera um, had this bag, and then Dale from Dale's Addiction got it in the smaller size, and I was like, oh. That's it. I have to get it because I love denim so much and I never had a denim bag before. So I was like, this is it. This is the bag I want. And I, I went for the jumbo size because I genuinely love jumbo size. I have a classic flap in the jumbo size, the black uh, with the uh, silver hardware. And I love that bag, but I wanted something a little casual to use for every day. And this bag just suits so much for that kind of purpose. I love this washed denim with the CC uh, logos. I love this understated um, silver hardware that just goes so well uh, for this bag. Just love everything about it. It, this bag is so light because it's denim. It's a single flap, so it's very easy to use. It, it fits so much. Um, also, the strap is not the same length as the jumbo. The jumbo has very, very extra long chain that you cannot use as a crossbody. And but this bag has a shorter strap. So you can use it perfectly under your, like, under like on your shoulder, and you can use this bag as a crossbody because it has a shorter strap and it goes so well as a crossbody bag. Yeah, beautiful bag. Really, really suggest getting. A, if you guys love denim as I do, I definitely suggest going with a denim bag in your favorite like designer designer or favorite 
um, style because you will not regret it. I mean, it's great to have leather bags, but sometimes you just want to have a little bit like a fun and casual bag. And this is it for me, a fun and casual bag that I love so much. This bag will stay forever in my collection. The next bag in my collection is Chanel 19 in this beautiful royal blue color. I love this beautiful dark shade of blue. It's just a very rich uh, royal blue color. And I, I believe this is uh, one size up from a small Chanel 19 um, size. So I think it's called large. I feel like it should, it should be called medium because there's no medium size Chanel 19. So I got this, I believe, four years ago. And I love the bigger Chanel 19 as much as the small one. I love this bag because it has such a pillowy, look, pillowy um, design and I like how it is bigger than the small. I have the small in the black. I use that bag every day as well. But this beautiful royal blue color just has my heart because it's just a great beautiful like dark blue color and I love using this in the colder weather when it's like a little bit cooler um, with all of my like darker color bag darker color wardrobe yeah i love this um extra like big chain and i love how this chain goes from um, silver to gold and to ruthenium and then back to the silver it just has so many different um different design i love this so much uh, the chain is not that long and not that short it has a very good length for for use yeah just love this so much i feel like chanel 19s are a little bit dying down now but I still keep my Chanel 19. I have two in my collection, which I love so, so much. Okay, number seven in my blue bag collection is my Farley Page tote bag. This is a in this beautiful, like classic blue color from Farley Page. I believe this is size 32 and mine has a zipper. Uh, I I was looking for a tote bag that had a zipper on the top because I I don't really trust tote bags that that are open especially when I'm traveling I don't want to use a bag that has no zipper nothing no closure nothing I just feel insecure when my bag is open uh, I had couple incidents when my bag was open and um, somebody tried to steal from my bag so yeah and I wanted something discreet I didn't want a very heavy logo on my bags um, when I'm traveling or I didn't want a very heavy logo logo on my bags when I'm using my bag to work so I when I used to work in the office this bag was my one of my like um, work bags so for that purpose I love how this is very discreet you don't know um, what bag it is you don't know what kind of like it's not it's not screaming like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something and I'm fine I mean I don't mind people wearing very like shouty very loud bags but in my um, work environment I do not feel comfortable wearing a very loud bag to my work. So this is a very perfect uh, work bag, to be honest. And also very great bag to travel because it's very safe. It has um, a zipper and it's just a very quiet bag. As of now, quiet luxury is very popular now. So uh, if you guys are looking uh, for a quiet tote bag i really really um advise to look into farley posh love this bag so so much and the last bag in my collection which is the biggest blue bag in my collection 
is my Marc Jacobs tote bag in this beautiful um, denim patchworks. It has different kind of denim. It has light denim, medium denim, dark denim, and it has so many beautiful like um, denim um, pieces. And this is in the biggest size. I got this right away when they released this collection, this denim collection, and at that moment I was looking for a tote bag, like a big, like a, like a book tote um, bag. I was looking for that kind of bag, and I did not want a Dior book tote bag. It's I feel like it's just a bit too expensive for the purpose that I was looking for. I wanted a bag that I can use for like a staycation, for an overnight little trips. And I wanted something big, something like non-leather to use, um, like a carefree bag. And I got this and it's a great bag. I love, love, love. It's not like a luxury bag. It's not like a luxury, like a brand but sometimes you you don't feel like using a very heavy luxury bag when you're going on a little trip overnight trips vacations you know you don't really have to like I um, I pack this bag and with all my stuff and then I grab like like little bags like this for a little trips so I don't have to have a big tote um, from a luxury designer and a another like little bags from luxury designer I am fine mixing my bags my luxury bags with different kind of brands I don't have to have everything heavy luxury so for that kind of purpose this is a great um, travel tote as well um, yeah love this bag so much um, my love for denim is yeah this bag won my heart when I saw it because I love denim so much. So that's it for my blue handbag collection. I have eight blue bags. I love all of them so much. I feel like I need a couple more blue bags after doing this video. I feel like my green handbag is much more fun than blue. But nevertheless, blue bags are also great. I love it. I mean, I'm so happy to have... Um, all these beautiful things in my collection. So let me know what you guys have uh, in the color blue in your collection and uh, what is your favorite handbag in, from what I showed now. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you later. Bye bye.